can't believe during the week we had Helia singing, and she's a self-made millionaire, and you managed to ask her a little bit about mindset. Well, when, when she started talking about mindset, I thought this is a great opportunity to maybe to videotape this, <laughs> and uh, we just got into the, the studio and uh, videoed her. Today, I'm going to talk about mindset and how this has affected our wealth creation journey. But before that, I want to tell you a story. If you were with me seven years ago, I was in Melbourne in a winter gloomy day and I was with my five-year-old daughter and we were just baking a cake. So for some reason she had to stay home and you know I had to be a mom and help her to bake. What happened was, because she loves to chat and talk, and suddenly she asked me and said to me that, Mom, I can't wait for the summer to start so I can go to beach. And then she said to me, when was the first time you went to beach, Mom? Because she knew the country that I lived and I was born. So uh, the city was very far away from beach. And uh, just for a second I thought, I said, oh, I was a teenager when that happened. And she was surprised and she said, you must have been so excited the first time you went to see a beach and you must have just run to the water and you'd gone crazy. And that just brought so many memories back. And I thought about it and I said, well, actually not, because I was a teenager and in my country of origin, because of the Islamic government, as a girl, I wasn't allowed to go in the water. So even when I went to beach, even though I was excited, I was standing right beside the beach in Caspian Sea, it was beautiful, but I couldn't go in the water just because I was a girl. And that's why I always didn't like being a girl because it just felt that it was unfair that boys can have fun, but girls couldn't have fun. When I said that, my daughter said something to me that really changed my life. She said to me, that's sad, mom. That meant you never loved yourself. Those words hit the chord with me. I finally realized what is blocking my success, what is happening to me, and that was because I didn't love myself enough, and that was my mindset. I thought because who I was, where I was born, that's life, and that was unfair, way unfair. And it's just only after realization and then working on myself to fall in love with me again and uh, just giving myself nurture and finally realizing who I want to be, what I want to do, what is the reason behind my goal settings. These were my mindset and that really helped me to break that ceiling glass and really skyrocket my success and my wealth. So if you want to know more about mindset, please watch my YouTube channel, which is called Wealth Coaching with Helia Singh. Our first episode is dedicated to mindset. And I had a great interview with a very good expert in that internationally known, and she's going to share with you what is it takes about mindset and how it's affecting our wealth creation. Because mindset is just a state of mind, whether you see yourself as a rich person or poor, or you are lucky or unlucky, or whatever you see yourself and you tell yourself, that's all your mindset. And you can just change it like that. The epiphany can happen right at any moment to anyone. All you need to do is just sit there, relax, and watch the episode. Confidence, leadership, backup plans, taking advantage of opportunities, click funnels, and our famous golf tip. That and much, much more coming up on this week's show on Business Today. Plus, your question. Yes, we've got the viewer question of the week that we ask our panel of experts to answer for you. So don't miss out. Tune in this Tuesday at 7 a.m.